don't have these products, please find the link. Hello YouTube fam, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Imanji and I'm here to inspire you guys to live more creatively. Hit the subscribe button for videos every single week on DIY, home decor and macrame projects. I hope you guys are doing well today. It's officially summer and we can feel the heat. Happy summer and I want to fill my balcony with more new plants and make over the space. I have a couple of plans of uh, making, uh, buying new plants and making over, make over the space but I'm not getting time to go out and buy new plants and materials but definitely I'll be doing it soon in my coming DIY videos. In today's video, I'm going to share some quick and neutral DIY decor, flipping some drift, upcycling them. And the materials that I'm using over here are easily available at your home. In case if you don't find it, you can definitely check out any DIY store around you. This video is really fun and it really challenges me to make an amazing art of the products that are already available and inexpensive to create. And I definitely feel you guys are going to love these projects. In case if you guys don't have these products, please find the links down in the description and in case if you're still not able to find, please comment down below. I will try and help you as much as I can. Quickly before I jump into my first project, I would like to thank you guys for all the uh, support and kind comments on my channel and Instagram page. Uh, I know I have fewer subscribers but definitely I will have more with all your support. So keep showering love. I'll keep inspiring you guys further to any news. Let's get started with the first project. Hello from VoiceOver Himanshi. For our first DIY project, I am creating a very trendy decor piece that I actually got inspired from the recent reel that I created on Instagram for this project. For this project, I'll use some leftover lemon skin that I had recently used it. I did not feel like throwing away and these lemon skins were larger in size and that's where my DIY idea struck into my brain to create the trendy decor piece. In case you don't have the lemon skin already, then pick up a fresh large or a medium sized lemon, cut them into two pieces and remove the pulp. Here I'm using a sharp spoon to remove the pulp. You can also use any sharp knife. Ensure that when you remove the pulp, you don't spoil the outer layer of lemon skin because that's the main ingredient here in this project. You will also need a pack of tea light candles here. Since I had already had some available with me, I'll be using this. In now for the tea light candles, I'm gonna pop out the wax from the candle case. It's pretty easy to do. And you notice there's actually a candle wick at the bottom, which I'm gonna keep it aside for later process. I also have some wax chips that I'm gonna use for this project. This is going to be fun and it will have a natural fragrance from the lemon skin. So to melt our candles down, I went ahead and took my unused utensils and I added all the candle wax and kept it on the burner for melting. So I kept melting for a minute and I kept my eye on it so that it does not get burned. And I'm so happy with the amount of wax that I I took was enough for the count of lemon skin that I have taken. I will add the wax into the lemon skin slowly and before adding the wax, I will add the candle wick which I removed initially. Now I will so slowly pour the melted wax into the lemon skin and let them cool down for some time till the wax gets dried up. I'm seriously so happy with the way it has come out and these are so simple to make it. I have 
I've been seeing this trend everywhere and we were able to create this DIY from the items that we all were already there with me. These candles are gorgeous for table setting or any corner of your home which will add a perfect boho touch to your home. shopping block is the wine bottle and I'm going to upcycle and give a new look. Honestly, upcycling the wine bottle is very much trendy now with different creative arts and you guys already know that I'm all about neutrals and warm tones. So we are going to give this a little bit of a makeover. First thing first, we are going to give this a good sanding. The finish on this bottle is very glossy and there are few imperfections. So I'm smoothing it down as best as I can by using sandpaper. Next, we are going to create a little arms by creating a long coil with polymer clay. I was very inspired by this kind of a piece which are very trendy in pin interest and since the neck of this bottle is very skinny and I thought it will be a perfect to recreate this piece. off a small section of it and I'm just measuring it up against the bottle to see whether it fits and I want it a little bit bigger so I extended the shape of a little bit and this fits perfectly fine. Now from there I'm just going to go ahead and mold it to the shape that I wanted for the waist. Usually I like to use a bacon bun which, uh, which is a great adhesive to use in the oven but I wanted to try a different method in case you guys don't have that or you don't want to buy so that you can recreate this pro project with the things that you already have at your home. So now I'm gonna bake this but I will not keep the bottle because I'm not sure whether that will work in the microwave. Hence I decided to use my coffee mug and attach the shape on it. I'm going to bake this for 15 minutes at 275 degree Fahrenheit. After getting it down from the oven and letting it cool down completely, you will see the handles are going to slip right since we did not glue it on during the baking process. Alright, so now I'm all set to glue this handle on the bottle and I'm making a very quick glue over here to attach it to the bottle and you will notice that the handles are perfectly fit on the bottle and it has perfectly fit into the bottle shape as we baked it and it's giving perfectly seamless edge. Now I'm going to leave aside so that the glue gets dried up and ready for the next step. If you notice any excess glue around the shape on the glass then just remove it through sandpaper. Now the next step is to paint the bottle. So I want a matte finishing look on this bottle. So I'm going to use white February acrylic paint and mix baking soda and the paint for the matte texture. In case you don't want to use this paint uh, for, the, uh, for this, you can definitely look for a chalk paint or any spray paint which are easily available in the market. It is nice white color and I think it's going to be perfect for this bottle.
we've already gave one coat. Now I'm going to give two coats to this and get a pretty good coverage with it. Spackle it down, I'm going to use black acrylic color and splash it very slightly. Tried my best not to get any vertical splatter lines by tapping it perpendicular to the bottle waist. To the bottle or you can call it as waist. I'm doing this very carefully all around the bottle. Adding spackling is a great way to mask any imperfection. So if you are working on any piece that you have grooves and dips in there, this is the great way to hide that. I'm loving it how the bottle turned out and now I can call it as a waste not a bottle and more if and more with a few simple upgrades we are able to transform this thrifted item into a trendy modern piece. I hope this tip helps you create your own unique piece for a fraction of the price. So these were the project for today's video. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. I would love to hear your uh, feedback and it's always interesting to see which project people like better and I would love to uh, know if you guys create and customize this project for uh, your own space and i would love to know the thoughts in the comments down below if you guys recreate this please do tag me on my instagram channel i will share your project on my story don't forget to give big thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel that's it for today's video thanks for watching stay inspired and i'll see you in my next video bye